Victor. So today's session is all about chakras and in particular we're going to be focusing on Muladhara chakra which is our base or our anchor. So before we start I'm just going to say a little bit about the chakras and what they mean and explain something about uh, Muladhara to you but I'm not going to talk too much because I'm always very aware you know if you've got any or long Covid listening to talking is tiring. Before I do that just a reminder you don't need to keep looking at your screen if you find that tiring you can close your eyes, look away. I don't mind if your camera's off. And also, although we always work incredibly gently, please remember that anything I say is just a suggestion. You always have choice. So you just do what feels right for you in your body. Um, so I just want to start off by saying something about the chakras. because They're very important concepts in Vedic science and in yoga. And they're often known as our energy centers. Now, allegedly, there are many of them in our system, but I'm going to be dealing with the seven major ones over the next seven sessions that we're doing. And uh, these are known as our centers for prana. Prana is sometimes translated as universal fight, life force energy. Uh, it's something we all want to flow more effectively. And prana comes into our system. The main way it comes into our system is through the breath and the way that we breathe. So the science is that prana comes in via something known as nadis or energy channels. Um, and the two major ones are at the nostrils. They are known as ida and pingala, but you don't need to worry too much about the Sanskrit. And they spiral down something known as the central channel or the shishuma nadi, which runs parallel to the spine and these feed our chakras. But things like trauma or illness can create tension or knots, and these can restrict the flow of prana. <clears throat> and each chakra relates to different parts of us on a physical level, but also emotionally and spiritually even. So what we're doing in our next seven sessions is to work on balancing each chakra so that there's not so many restrictions and so that prana or energy can flow more effectively. And also to give us an understanding in Vedic science about how our system works. So that's just a very, very, very brief introduction to the chakras. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to just talk a little bit about Muladhara. So this is around the base of the spine. If you want, you can just take your hand and kind of feel around the base of the spine. And it relates to things such as our lower digestion, our bowels, and also our feet. But importantly, as far as we are all concerned, it's about this sense of I am here. I'm in my body, I'm in this life, and I'm in this present moment. And for many of us, particularly if we've got chronic illness, we don't feel that we are in our bodies. We don't even want to be in our bodies. because It feels uncomfortable. Maybe it's painful, maybe we've had trauma. So this idea of working with Muladhara is to help to make us feel more embodied, more that I am here and that my body feels safe. It's all about um, a sense of nourishment. It's also about the connection that we have with the earth and how the earth helps us to feel nourished. I'm just looking at my notes to make sure I've not left anything important out. And because it's our foundation, um, it's about how it nourishes all the other chakras. So as we go up our chakras to our crown chakra, which is more about our spiritual evolution, we need to remain uh, with our foundation firmly in place. So we need to actually remain in our body to be here now. So this practice this morning is all about coming into our body and about our sense of being here. Um, it's also about faith, because it's said that when we have nourishment and faith, this opposes fear. So it's about stability and the stability that we have from the earth. So it's about not being disassociated from the body. So when we're anxious, we might not feel present, we might feel unstable. So it's about being here. So with that said, please come into a comfortable 
either sitting or lying position. And I'm going to introduce you to a chant because this is meant to be the most powerful way of balancing our chakras is by using mantra. So I'm just going to put it in the, ch in the chat box. Um, and Jill's just asked before I proceed, am I cancelling any classes over the next month? I'm not sure, Jill, probably over Christmas. But if I have a space of one or two weeks, I will then be carrying on with the chakras. So um, I obviously will let you know as I work that out. So uh, seed mantra for this chakra is LAM, oops, L-A-M. And as always, if you don't want to chant, you can just hum or remain silent. Or if you prefer, you can um, chant earth, earth, because this is about chanting to the earth. So I'm going to suggest that if you're sitting, you might like to take your hands and place them around the base of the spine so that you're touching what's called your mula here. Close your eyes if that's comfortable for you. And I'll do it first, and we'll do it as call and response. I will chant to you and then you chant back to me. We'll do this three times in your own breathing rhythm. Lam, lam, lam. Lam, lam, lam. Lam, lam, lam. And then just take a moment or two to focus with your connection to the earth. So if you're lying down, this might be with your back. And if you are sitting, then think about the connection that your feet have with the floor. And just observe yourself coming in to your body. And if at any time, this doesn't feel comfortable for you. Have an idea of a safe resource that you can bring your awareness to. So that might be a visualization of something like a loved one or a pet. I've got Nelly with me here beside me. Pets are meant to be extremely good for this chakra, by the way. It might be the softness of your hands or if you're okay following your breath, it might be with your breath. And then I'd like you to bring to mind the image of either a tree or a mountain. And if you're sitting, just visualize that you are either that tree or your mount mountain. And it's part of you and you're rising up from your hips like a mountain or like a tree. So you use whichever image is right for you. If you're lying, also bring that image into you. So you're feeling that image, that visualization is embodying you. So you're bringing that strength into you. And then become aware of the sensation around the base of the spine and where you are touching and also your feet. So if you're lying, that might be, uh, if your knees are bent, that might be your soles on the floor, or it might be the backs of your heels, if your legs are straight. And if you're sitting, that's gonna be the soles of your feet. And just feel into the texture of anything that you're wearing around your feet, any sensation under your feet. And be aware of the two surfaces, the soles of your feet and your support. And then bring your awareness to the base of the spine. And just like we did with the feet, be aware of the texture if you're wearing your clothes around the base of the spine. 
from where you are touching either your chair or your support or the floor. So bring all your awareness there. And providing it's okay for you, just have this sensation that you are in your body. And we're going to do a visualization now with the breath. So I'd like you to visualize that you're breathing up through the soles of the feet, up to the base of the spine. And you're bringing in a sense of nourishment on the in breath from the earth. So inhale up through the soles of the feet, into the base of the spine, and then breathe out down the legs, down through the soles of the feet. So the earth can take away anything you no longer want to hold on to. Because this chakra is also about letting go. It's associated with this element of earth. Associated with all that is material. And we need a balance of this for our spiritual progress. We need to feel that we are in our bodies. And then again, come back to this visualization of either your mountain or tree, whichever you feel gives you stability and strength. I'm just going to explain what we're going to do. We're going to take the hands to the belly, then to the heart, and then we're going to palm the eyes. I'm going to take three breaths at each point. The belly, three breaths, three breaths at the heart, and three breaths around the eyes. And if you like, you can chant. So as you inhale, three breaths into the belly, I want you to visualize the sense of your mountain or tree, the strength coming in to the belly. And as you exhale, you can chant, lam, 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 or you can hum, or you can remain silent. Same with the heart. Three breaths on the in-breath, visualizing the strength of your visualization, and then chanting on the out-breath three times, and then to the eyes. So you do that in your own breathing rhythm. And when you finish, just drop your hands so I can see you finished. And when you have finished, just take a moment or two to observe how you are, mind, body, emotions, just allowing everything to be it is so you're not resisting your experience. Even if there's discomfort, fatigue, just allow it, see if you can just let it be. And then as you breathe in, have a sense of breathing in nourishment on the in-breath. As you breathe out, have a sense of letting go. And if it's helpful for you, take one hand to the heart, the other to the belly. So you're just breathing into the hand that's on the belly. And if you can, you're breathing through the nose. Think of the breath as being slow and low, gentle and subtle. And 
And then when you're ready, drop the hands to the knees if you're sitting. And now please come down to lying. We're going to do some gentle movement. So if you can, and if you're not lying yet, please lie on your back and start with the knees bent, feet hip width apart. And have something under your head just to support your head. I'm going to move with you if you need to look at the screen, but hopefully my voice is enough. So have the palms turned up to the ceiling and the arms slightly below shoulder level. And the heels are coming in towards the buttocks. So the feet are hit width apart. And you might like to just lift and drop one foot, then the other, just to feel this connection with the feet. And then drop the feet to the mat. Be aware of your sensation of the back of the hands and the back, the shoulders and the head on your support. You just have this sense that the earth is holding you and nourishing you. And then we're just going to do some gentle twisting movements with the breath, if you can. If you can't move with the breath, that's fine. So just take an inhalation where you are. And as you exhale, just allow the legs to drop down towards the right side, rolling the head to look towards the left shoulder, keeping the shoulders aligned. Inhale to centre the head and the knees. Exhale to take the knees down towards the left, rolling the head to look over towards the right side. Inhale and centre. And just take that a couple more times, each side in your own breathing rhythm. Next time your knees come down towards the right, just rest into the twist. And if the knees don't come all the way down, you might like to put blankets or cushions under them. So you're making this a very comfortable resting position, head looking over the opposite shoulder. And just have a sense on every exhalation that you are releasing further and further into the posture. Just letting it go a little bit more on every out breath. And then take your awareness to your back, particularly the lower back, and just allow your awareness to drift there, exploring how the back is. Try not to judge anything. Just observing with curiosity. And then when you are ready, on your next in-breath, center the head and center the knees. And then take your knees down to the other side, head over in the opposite direction. And just rest out here. And again, feel that the exhalation is releasing and relaxing you deeper and deeper into the posture. Just focusing on that nice smooth out breath. And having the awareness in the back, particularly around the lower back. And as we did on the other side, just exploring how the back is without making any judgment, just observing with this sense of curiosity. 
How am I? How is my back? Feeling again your connection to the floor or your support and this sense of nourishment. sense of letting go. And then when you're ready, center your head and your knees. And then just gently draw one knee and the other over the belly, holding around or under the knees. And just rock yourself out from side to side. So just enjoy some gentle rocking movement. And think of the rocking as being nourishing for you. And when you're ready, drop your feet to the floor with the knees bent. And we're going to move now into a posture called the lying tree. As always, this is an invitation, so only do what feels right for you and modify if you need to. So we're going to start with the knees bent. Again, I will move with you if you do need to check the screen. But otherwise, hopefully, you can just continue to move. So start by stretching out the right leg. So left knee is bent, right leg is straight. And start with the hands on the heart. And then we're going to bend that left knee down so that the left sole of the left foot is just touching the right knee. And if you need to put any padding under that left knee, please do so. And with the right foot, you can keep the foot relaxed, or if your energy is up to it, you can have the foot slightly dynamic with the toes pointing up to the ceiling. But as always, listen to your energy and honor it. So if it's kinder to have the foot relaxed, have it relaxed. And then when you're ready, take the arms out like a cross, palms facing up to the ceiling. And what we're going to do now is run our fingernails in a semicircle along the floor behind us to bring the palms together over the head. And if that's too strong on your shoulders, you can bend your elbows to rest the palms of the hands on the head. Now I've got a dodgy right shoulder, so I'm lifting my right elbow. So you modify as feels right for you. And then just feel that you're in your lying tree so that you have got this feeling of being open from the sole of the right foot up to the palms of the hands. Particularly feel the openness around the rib cage, so the diaphragm is free. You just take some nice slow breaths here. And then when you're ready to come out of the posture, relax the right foot if it's being held. And then just bring the hands together onto the heart center. And take some breaths here. And then relax out of the posture completely by dropping the arms down beside the body with the palms turned up, lifting up the left knee and then straightening the left leg. And just take some resting breaths in this relaxation posture. So the feet are slightly apart, arms away from the body and just rest. Allowing the body to restore, nourish and rest. allowing the mind to become quiet. And then when you're ready, we're going to take that to the other side, if you would like. So this time, bring the legs together and bend the right knee. So left leg is straight this time, and you can leave the left foot relaxed or stretch, flex the foot so the toes are up towards the ceiling. 
and then open that right knee down towards the floor. So the sole of the right foot is just touching the left knee. Take the arms out like a cross, palms turned up. Take some breaths like this. And then when you're ready, running the fingernails along your support, for your carpet, whatever you're lying on, bring the palms together over the head. Remember, you can modify this by bending the elbows and resting the palms on the head. And just enjoying being in this lying tree so that there's this sense of opening from the sole of the left foot into the palms of the hands. Because the breath is being slow and low. And then when you're ready, relax the left foot and bring the palms together over the heart. Take a couple of breaths here. And then again, when you're ready, lift the right knee up. And then straighten the right leg. Drop the palms down beside you with the uh, so that they're facing the ceiling. And just take some resting breaths here. Just observing how you are, mind, body, emotions. Observing the effect of the practice so far on the body. And if you want to bring the knees into your belly and rock, out, please do so if you want to stretch. Just move in any way that feels right for you. And then we're just going to do one more posture before we come down to relax. So we're going to move into a bridge posture, but we're doing this focusing on this sense of Muladhara chakra. So we can do the same posture for each chakra, but each time the focus will be different. So start with the knees bent, feet hip width apart. Take any support away from under your head and just... Allow the back of the neck to lengthen by taking the chin down towards the top of the chest. And take a moment or two to feel into the palms of the hands. So have them nice and solid on the floor. And feel your feet solid on the floor. So quite often, if I'm in real life doing this asana, this posture with people, they tend to lift their hands off the floor and they don't have their feet completely connected with the floor. So really think, about the palms of the hands connecting with the floor and the soles of the feet being connected. So the Sanskrit name for this posture is Dwi Padapitam and it means two foot support. So really think about this support of your, of your feet before you go into the posture. And always remember to listen into your energy because I'm not in your body and each and every one of us is different. So honor how your energy is today. You might want to rest out from this, or you might just want to lift slightly, or you might just want to do one repetition. And when you're ready, working with the breath, we're going to inhale and lift the hips slightly up to come off of the shoulders, keeping the knees stable, back of the neck long. And really feeling into the support of the feet and the hands. Take one breath here. And then exhale. Coming down and feel this connection of the base of the spine with your support. Feel your hands and feel your feet. And if that's enough for you, hug the knees into the chest and rock out. Or you can take that once or twice more. But remember to work with kindness because we want to have this kind connection to our body because as we come more into our body and we inhabit our bodies again, we better know when we need to rest. Because when we are disengaged from our physical body, 
We're not always sure when our body is telling us to rest. So when we're working with Wuladhara, this is all about making a kind connection to our physical body. And then when you're ready, we're going to go into a relaxation sequence now. And then after that, before we finish, we're going to do a little bit more grounding. So please get any blankets, um, eye masks, cushions, whatever you need to make yourself nice and comfortable. You might like to have padding under your head, under your knees. And remember, you can lie on a sofa, you can lie on a bed, you can lie on your front or your side. So it's your choice how you want to be. And today we're going to do an autogenic relaxation. And the reason I chose an autogenic relaxation is because it's very good at making us into our bodies. It's helping us inhabit how we are. So I'm going to say uh, some phrases and I'd just like you to repeat those mentally to yourself. And they're quite simple phrases, which means that when you're not in the class during the week, you need to do a relaxation. This is something that you have access to. It's quite easy for you to remember to lie down for 10 minutes and do this. So again, just take a moment or two to come into your body. Allow your jaw to soften. The area around your eyes. Let your shoulders release. You might like to wriggle them down away from your ears. Feel yourself nourished by your support. And you might like to visualize that around the base of the spine, you have a long tap root and it's going down, down, down into the earth to receive nourishment. So as you breathe in, you can visualize breathing up your tap root into your mula, bringing nourishment, earthing into the body. And as you exhale, the taproot is going to take away anything you no longer want back into the earth for it to dissolve. So just take a moment or two to visualize this. And then visualize that you have a magic cloak surrounding you. And you can place your cloak wherever you want. So it might be under your chin or it might be covering your whole body. It can be any fabric you would like it to be in any color. But just see this cloak as bringing you safety, stability and safety covering you in any way you would like. And just feel that you can snuggle into your cloak so you are cozy and safe and warm. And then become aware of your right arm. And as I say the words, repeat them mentally to yourself. My right arm is heavy. My right arm is heavy. My right arm is heavy. Right 
My left arm is heavy. My left arm is heavy. My left arm is heavy. My right leg is heavy. My right leg is heavy. My right leg is heavy. My left leg is heavy. My left leg is heavy. My left leg is heavy. My right arm is warm. My right arm is warm. My right arm is warm. My left arm is warm. My left arm is warm. My left arm is warm. My right leg is warm. My right leg is warm. My right leg is warm. My left leg is warm. My left leg is warm. My left leg is warm. Both arms are heavy and warm. Both arms are heavy and warm. Both arms are heavy and warm. My whole body is heavy and warm. My whole body is heavy and warm. My whole body is heavy and warm. My forehead is cool and calm. My forehead is cool and calm. My forehead is cool and calm. My heartbeat is calm and regular. My heartbeat is calm and regular. My heartbeat is calm and regular. My whole body breathes. My whole body breathes. My whole body breathes. My body is safe. My body is safe. My body is safe. On every in-breath, the earth nourishes me. 
on every in-breath, the earth nourishes me. On every in-breath, the earth nourishes me. I am peace. I am peace. I am peace. like you to visualize now that you are walking in a forest in winter and if you like you can have your cloak around you your magic cloak to keep you warm even invisible if you like and as you walk on the path you feel the crunch of the snow because it's been snowing and the snow is virgin white. And so as you look ahead, you see the indentation of small animal and bird prints. As you breathe in, you feel the cool, frosty air, like mint or champagne, refreshing you. The air is very clear and clean. You look around you and you see the naked branches of winter forming shapes and silhouettes. You enjoy the feeling of being warm as you're walking in the cold, frosty, snowy forest. On your back, you are carrying a rucksack. The rucksack is not too heavy, it's just the right weight for you to manage. After some time, you come to a clearing. In the clearing, there is a fast running stream. Next to the stream is a comfortable chair. And you're going to sit in the chair and place your rucksack on your knee. And you can imagine the chair being covered in any fabric or padding you would like. Maybe it's even heated. I'm doing your rucksack now. Your rucksack is full of stones which represent everything you no longer want to hold on to. So this might be things like fear or anxiety, fatigue, pain, whatever you imagine. Just see yourself throwing these into the stream and the stream is carrying them away. So you are letting go of the identification for these things you wish to let go of. And then finally, you throw the rucksack itself into the stream and you watch it dissolve. When you are ready, 
you stand up again and feeling much lighter and brighter. You turn back to walk back down the snowy forest track. With the feeling that the winter will pass and spring is not far away. The invitation now is to remain resting, or if you would like to do a little bit more on Muladhara Chakra, just begin to move your fingers and your toes a little. And just begin to move and stretch in any way that feels comfortable for you. And then when you're ready, roll to one side and just stay there for a moment or two. And then when you're ready, come up to a comfortable seating position. And if you have a chair nearby, it'd be great if you can sit on a chair. But if not, just sit in any way that's comfortable for you. So just rub your hands together and you can clap them if you like, just to come out of the relaxation, shaking out your fingers. And then just look around your space. So feel yourself in your body, but also in your space, in your room, wherever you are. And then we're going to do some hugging movements with our chant. So take the hands to the heart. Inhale, take the arms open wide. And we're going to hug ourselves as we chant, lam, lam, lam. Opposite hand to opposite shoulder. Remember, you can hum instead if you prefer. Breathing in, open your arms wide. Cross in the other direction. Lam, lam, lam. Repeat that twice more to each side in your own breathing rhythm. I'm not going to do it with you because my breathing and my pitch might be different from yours. But you just do it in any way that feels right for you. And then with our hands crossed on our shoulders, we're just going to massage need to lift your clothing up massage into the shoulders you can do this one hand at a time if it's easier just massage your shoulder this feeling of nourishing yourself and you could also thank your shoulder if you like because it's carrying all your day your burden so just give yourself a nice massage this is all about you might think what's this got to do with muladhara chakra but it's all about nourishing feeling the body about the physical body i am here And then we're just going to stroke firmly down the arms. And we're going to tap on the chest. Tapping is really good for making us feel that we're in our bodies. And then just tap around the face and on the scalp. And then rub the hands together. Drop your hands to your knees. Close your eyes if that's comfortable. And just say to yourself mentally, I am here. 
I am here. I am here. Take your left hand and place it on your heart. And then say three times to yourself, I make a kind connection to my body. I make a kind connection to my body. I make a kind connection to my body. And then drop your hand to your knee. And just inquire what this might mean for you. Do you feel comfortable with this? Do you feel resistant to this? Do you not want to be in your body? However you feel personally, just observe this if you can with compassion. And even if there's resistance there, just allow it to be. However you feel is okay. Allow yourself to feel whatever you feel. And also observe if you feel differently about your body from how you did at the beginning of the practice. And also inquire what this sense of being embodied means to you. This sense of your body and being your foundation or your anchor. And then I'd like you to bring your awareness to your feet. Then to your hands on your knees. And then to your hips and your bottom on your chair. And then choose one of these three points, either your feet or your hands or your bottom and feel on every exhalation that you are releasing out through this point that you've chosen. So fix your attention on one of these three points and feel yourself release on every exhalation. If the mind wanders, bring it back to the point that you've chosen to focus on, feeling yourself releasing down and out through that point. And then let go of that now and just observe how you're feeling emotionally, physically, mentally. And again, trying not to have any sense of judgment or criticism or resistance. But if any of those are present, just allow them to be there too. And then we're just going to do some rocking movements now. So again, cross your hands on your shoulders. And then just rock slowly from side to side. So lots of research to show that this really helps to soothe the central nervous system. And then stop and then just rock forward and back. And then either continue to rock forward and back, or go back to side to side, and just experiment with which feels most soothing to you. And is it better to go faster? Or is it better to go slow? Or better to just sit out and rest? So you do with what feels most nourishing for you. And then we're going to imagine that our body, our torso, is a spoon, a giant spoon, and we're just going to stir, stir our torso round on our chair. Again, fantastic for soothing the central nervous system in terms of science, but in terms of yoga, really good for Muladhara chakra. Working on the mula, and then you take that in the opposite direction.
and then pause whenever you need to. You don't need to wait for me to tell you. And then we're just going to hold the sides of our face with each hand. So just have this sense of nourishment. One of the key words of Mudatara Chakra is it's about nourishment. Just feeling that you're holding yourself with compassion, even love, and you're nourishing yourself. Just bring this sense of nourishment and compassion to however you are in this moment. And when you're ready, open your eyes. And we're just going to finish the practice with our chant again. So we're going to take the hands to the Namaste Mudra. We're going to breathe in, open the arms, and then chant to our heart, Lam, Lam, Lam. Inhale again, open the arms. Lam, Lam, Lam. Inhale once more. Lam, Lam, Lam. Keep your eyes closed just for a moment or two. Just observe if you are now feeling more embodied with this sense of kind connection to your body. And then when you're ready, open your eyes. Take the palms together to Namaste. We just bow to our hearts. Namaste. The divine in me greets the divine that's in you. So thank you all very, very much for being here. I hope you enjoyed the session. Love to hear your feedback if you have time, particularly if you're on Facebook. And next week we'll be working with our sacral chakra, which is Swadhisthana, and that's called our power centre. So that um, is quite an interesting centre to work with. And just to say that um, regarding Christmas, I will let you know the dates. I probably will be taking a week off at some point. And I'm also going to do a special meditation around the solstice, the winter solstice on the 21st. So thank you all. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful week. Lots of love and take care. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Fiona. Thank you. Bye.